Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about the Halloween events that are happening in Pokéland Legends. There are diamond rebates, for example, on the advanced capsule gifts. There are new items dropping on dungeons. There are also three new rare Pokémon available on the Monster Mist for you to catch, which I'm also going to give you guys a build about them. And there is much more. So let's start. First of all, we are going into the Miracle Exchange and we can see the Halloween item drops. We can see jack-o'-lanterns, apples and candies or lollipops. You can exchange these items for missed tickets, for costume coupons and other stuff. But first of all, how do you even get these items? The easiest way to obtain them is by raiding elite and common dungeons. So as you can see, you have a chance of getting any of those Halloween items. I was unlucky and I only got two, but at least I got a, a jack-o'-lantern. And according to a drop testing that I've done yesterday on stream, if you want to check out yesterday's stream to have a little bit more intel about it and see how it was performed, the drop testing, we can conclude that the best map for you to drop Halloween items, if you are only interested on Halloween items, is the Scream Volcano on the common dungeons. But I only recommend you to do this if you don't care about held items, for example. If you still need held items, it's much more worth it for you to just raid elite dungeons that drop held items so that you at least get some extra benefit out of them. The item that should be the hardest one to come by are the Jacko Lanterns. Apples are extremely common. Lollipops should be a little bit more common, but I was unlucky. But if you are still missing, for example, jack-o'-lanterns to exchange for something, they are also available on Ode to Joy. It's the best event for a recharge from always my perspective is always the Ode to Joy on any event, which is a dollar a day, and you can still get a bunch of benefit out of it. There's also the daily sale. If you recharge $5, you can get even more jack-o'-lanterns. Or if you want to go a little bit a step further, there's also the recharge gift selection which rewards you with not just fire books and ground books but also some extra jack-o'-lanterns as well. The best item to exchange in my opinion are the costume exchange coupons so you can get up to four costumes actually this week if you are a recharger because you can get one today you can get another one tomorrow and then you wait two more days and you can get another one and on the very last day of the event which should be Thursday it this should be refreshing so right now we only have one exchange chance but since the miracle exchange just updates with new items along the week this first part of the exchange will remain the same but the exchange chances should get a refresh so you should be able to buy four costumes if you want if you think that you cannot get enough jack-o'-lanterns for the costume because it requires 50 jack-o'-lanterns the second best item in my opinion are the capsule coupons because for five jack-o'-lanterns and a couple of other resources you get 10 pokemon capsule coupons which is not bad everything else over here is quite expensive but we are going to talk about the missed items very soon. And even if you are just recharging, for example, for the Ode to Joy, just $1 a day, remember that you can use the AppCoins wallet with my code POKELAND on it so that you can get the bonus from your recharges. Every little bit matters and the bonus from Aptoid can be used to recharge again, which also increases your VIP level. So remember, use code POKELAND on your Aptoid wallet and if you need more information about it, check the links in the description below. And just one last thing about the Halloween exchange, if you have extra hand Halloween items you can use them on strike cards if you would like there's also extra strike card exchange options over here but you can also save for the next year because next year we should have the same event so these items should still be usable for the next year so if you want to save up for the next year that's up to you now if we go on the advanced capsule gift there's actually a diamond rebate going on this week for example today we have Mewtwo Mewtwo Y can be used as a support and if you want to check the full list of all the Pokemon that will be available during the week. You can also check Pokemon Legends Club. On our website we do have the capsules being posted every week and as we can see over here, yesterday was Volcanion, was also a very nice support, it's just that I could not make a video yesterday but today we have Mewtwo. We will still have like for example Dialga and Diancia, they are kind of popular Pokemon that some people enjoy so just go and take a look and see what fits you the most. And now let's talk about the big one, the Monster Mist event. If you go on the Monster Mist on the advanced zone, and if you are using your advanced miss tickets, you have a chance of finding Master of Illusions, Bone-type Aerodactyl, or Ash Squirtle. 
They are not only extremely rare, but also there's something that might happen. If you didn't see yesterday's video, the most effective way for you to actually try and find these Pokemon is by refreshing the list once, and when you do have the three capture chances left, you have to actually enter the mist and walk around for a bit to see if you find one of those rare Pokemon. It happens that those event Pokemon are marked as 0% and they are not marked as rare, just like this normal is right now. So because of not being marked as rare, there is a chance that those event Pokemon do not show up in the front page, so you just need to enter the mist and walk around a little bit to see if you find them. If you don't find them, just come out and repeat the process. You can watch yesterday's video for more information about it. Also, another thing that I want to advise you is wait for a specific weather to show up. No, it will not increase the chances of finding any of those event Halloween Pokemon because they can be found at any weather. But the thing is, if you don't find at least the Halloween Pokemon that you are looking for, you have the chance of finding another weather Pokemon that you might be interested on. So for example, we can go over here on Pokemon Legends Club and there's the weather report for three days. It updates every day, right? Today was snow and it's already gone. We cannot catch this any longer and there was Kyurem and Regices available. Tomorrow, for example, slight snow, Registeel. The day after, there's also Entei and Reg rock and other cool pokemon available now the thing is of course the next day there might be for example a rainstorm there might be for example slight snow for latias and latias that's up to you you can go over here on the website and see if we have that kind of prediction and also plan your halloween hunt accordingly of course if you still do need some extra missed tickets to find any of those pokemons you can exchange them for Unishards, Firebooks, and also some extra Halloween items, even though it's not advisable, but if you feel like you really want it, and honestly, 500 Unishards for 100 tickets? It's not horrible, because with those 100 tickets, you actually have a good chance of finding one of those Halloween Pokemon. So, it's actually a, a good exchange. Now, honestly, one of the best things is that if you find multiple copies, they all can be exchanged into Overlord stickers. You need a total of an extra four copies of a specific Pokemon in order to get 200 Overlord stickers, which is enough to make the Pokemon Overlord. Now, imagine that you want, like, imagine that you find a Pokemon that you like from the Halloween event and you want to make a team with them. Yes, you can. And if you go on Pokeland Legends Club, we can see, for example, let's just go over here to the homepage so that you can easily find the builder. You have a banner with the builder or you can go on the menu and you go down where it says builder. On the builder yesterday, I created two different builds, one for Master of Illusions, where you can see actually recommended teammates. I recommend, for example, Zoroark and Victini Overlord if you can, but Overlord ex is expensive. Victini Overlord provides, in my opinion, more damage output for your Master of Illusions than, let's just say, Ivaltal. But if you want to go the cheap way first, you can, for example, use Overlord Ivaltal and Overlord Victini, or even as a third option, which if you have Overlord Master of Illusions, one Pokemon that is also exceptionally very good with Master of Illusions is Team Rocket Wobbuffet. Because you can give your Master of Illusions extra dodge and not just that, you can also give it more damage reduction. So increase the tankiness of your Master of Illusions is always welcome and Team Rocket Wobbuffet, I, I just I love this Pokemon, it's very good on tanky teams. Now, for example, if we go on Aerodactyl, it's recommended to use a flying team, mostly because the way that Aerodactyl works, if we go over here and check on the Pokedex, is every time that it moves, it gets a barrier. It gets some kind of protection that negates 99% of damage the first time that it is attacked. So what do you want to have on this Pokemon? It's mostly speed. You want this Pokemon to be fast so that every time it moves, it's protected. Like if the enemy attacks Aerodactyl, they are not going to kill Aerodactyl at all. So the flying team actually provides a lot of speed and you can even throw a Rayquaza or even, for example, if you don't have a Rayquaza, let me just go over here, you can even throw a Delibird. Like for example, you go with Aerodactyl, you go with Tornadoes and if Tornadoes is Overlord, it can make all of your flying type Pokemon move again, and you can, for example, play a Delibird, which can also make all of your 
allied Pokemon move again. So this basically guarantees that your Aerodactyl moves twice in the same round, and if you have the Overlord one, you can see that while you have your protection active, if nobody attacks you, you actually have extra damage on top of it. So it's kind of important if you have the chance to move twice in a row. That is why I recommend like speed boost and adaptability, or you can replace adaptability for Shed Skin if you'd like, but honestly, if you are going to play with Overlord Tornadoes, that already removes the debuff for you, so adaptability for extra damage is probably what I would use. Also, as a reminder, I will leave the link for the builder in the description below because you have the full build of the Pokemon, the full suggested build for the Pokemon, and of course, many other Pokemon available. The builder is a public place, by the way, so you can find builds created by other players, or you can also create your own. That's about it for this Halloween event, I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Video.